Welcome back to the Chevron Perth International Track Cycling Grand Prix. We've had some great racing so far. And the men, they're on the start line for the men's 10 kilometre scratch race. We're looking forward to getting into this one. And there's the field, as I mentioned, Freeburg. A couple of, few Japanese riders now. The endurance squad are out here as well. The Germans also. And the Swiss are here as well. So they've all made the journey over. It's a good stopover en route to Melbourne for the World Championships. And I imagine we'll see, similar to the women, an attacking style of race. This will suit Freiburg. I keep saying he's the World Omnium Champion which generally means if you can ride a good Omnium, you're a versatile type of rider. You have to be able to sprint, time trial, pursuit, and you've got to have some tactical nous about you as well. 29 laps to go. So it's going fairly quick. Oh, and there's been a crash. Three riders down by the looks of it. One of the South Africans, a Japanese rider has gone down and it could be one of the Russians as well. More riders now getting anxious, can see the danger in this break. Oh, it is a dangerous break, isn't it? The gap has opened up. Two Swiss are in that move, they're driving it along. And there's a little bit of hesitation at the back there. Suddenly, it's just split. Two of the Swiss riders now have gone clear. I don't think his teammate realised he swung up the track expecting four or five riders to be on the wheel and they weren't. Now he's realised he's bridged back up. So that's number 28 and 26 there. Cyril Thierry. And number 26 is Claudio Imhoff. So they are going for home now. They will work hard, even if they can get one of them across that line in first. Number 28, that's Thierry leading him through. Imhoff now takes his turn at the front. They're working hard. They look across the track. They can see the main bunch. They can see victory in their sights. If they get that lap up, surely it would be enough. But there's a few riders still trying to chase. Imhoff now comes through once again. They're catching the remnants of the stragglers. It's one of the Japanese riders that they passed there. So his race is done and dusted. Well, they're not slowing down at all. Imhoff pulling again, the big rider. He swings out, Teddy goes through, number 28, pulls his turn, they catch another rider there, that's one of the Germans, so the pace was too tough for him. Well, they are really settled into their rhythm and the bunch have lost their momentum and this will help these two breakaway riders. And they're just about on the back and well they are, look at that, and they've done it easy. So the two Swiss riders, if they can just stay in this pack, if the pace keeps moving along, they'll be able to fight out for the victory. Well, Freeberg, I really thought he would step up once again, uh, but he missed that move. He went with the first one. So too did Caleb Ewan, and then they counter-attacked. So it was all about timing, and the Swiss, hmm, they're known for their timing systems, aren't they? They've timed it well tonight. So the pace is on now. The Swiss, the teammates, they're setting the pace. And it looks like it's Teddy. And it's Bell Lap for the two Swiss. And, it, well, it looks like it's Teddy that's going to take it out. Well, in fact, this is the main group now that are sprinting it out for the line. And as they go towards the line there, but there's the two riders there. And Perizzolo and Teddy. Well, tactically superb. You got up there and got into the lap, and then you set up Loic for the third place. Yeah, but you know, uh, we, we ride all the time together, and uh, we have, uh, yeah, well, everybody can win every race, and uh, yeah, <laughs> this time it's, uh, it worked uh, very well, and so that's a very good one. Well, congratulations, Cyril Thierry, and congratulations, Switzerland, first, second, and third.